Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be doing a little review over this. Uh, I don't even know what it's the name of it's called. Uh, the Femco uh, 30 gallon sprayer. Uh, we did try it out today. We took it to the commercial job and uh, sprayed it because we sprayed at the beginning of the year. But uh, it needed sprayed again because it was all starting to grow back. But all I have to say about this thing is it's it's good. But you will run through a lot of weed killer really fast. But uh, that's all we use it for right now. I'm going to try to, uh, you know, get some of the fertilizer, mix it up, and try it on my own yard. I don't have my spraying license yet, but I'm going to try it on my own yard and uh, see how it goes. Then probably uh, work towards my spraying license. I know my dad was doing it, and uh, he was going to try to get them. Right here we got the Kubota. We're going to have to take it back to the dealership because I don't know if the PTO switches went out. Or one of the belts or spindles or something's wrong with it but yeah it's it uh we took it to we got a big commercial property and i was running the skag which we got fixed uh the ground cable on it came loose and uh it was just kicking on and off cutting in and out but we're about to take it back to uh the dealership which it, we have had a good look at it yet it's got 183 hours to change the oil and go on we broke we broke a uh dry bed on it one time which sucked because we had to push it up on the trailer so it took about everything we had we had to call my papa and my uncle to get it back up on the trailer so all i have to say is don't ever break a drive belt but we're going to take it to the dealership see what's wrong with the blades because they want to engage and uh yeah we got quite a few few to mow tomorrow so we're going to probably get some footage i got the gopro out here in the building on charge i leave it out in the building i just take the sd card in with me uh when i get done the day leave it out here so i can just come out here and grab it and go but like i said uh we're gonna do a little review over the sprayer as i sorry i just had to update you all real quick we gonna do a little review over the sprayer so the first thing let me so the first thing i do have to say is i like how long this hose is so you can be sitting on the mower and you could do two or three loops out of it and just you still have plenty of hose you can sit on your mower and spray you can adjust the nozzle right here to spray uh like a wider or just a straight shot and how much you want to come out in it but uh we did fill it up today with 20 gallons of water then mix it with weed killer and took it up to our commercial property and sprayed quite a bit um it's good for that but as you see it does have these adjustable arms so i do have the cable wrapped around this one you just hook it up to your mower battery and then uh you should be good to go from there um you just flip this switch right here on and off that uh, turns the pump on and off but um Oh, I need to let the pressure out. Well, I guess we don't have any pressure. Which, um, it builds pressure quick. You don't have to wait on it at all. Uh, holds up to 30 gallons. Uh, really, really like that part because you can mix 30 gallons of uh, weed killer in there and you can go all day with it. But 20 gallons went pretty quick, but we sprayed quite a bit of stuff. But um, the pump, I have to say, first thing I had a problem with is uh, this hose right here is not quite long enough. I don't think so it was leaking really bad out of the bottom which i'll sit here and tighten and tighten and tighten i need to cut that off um here's your pump it's a uh, high flow pump it's uh really good builds really fast uh builds pressure really good and i ain't had a i ain't have we had no problems on it but we've only used it once but as you can see right here you hook this to the back of your mower which we just use the kubota because uh you know you can't i mean you probably could use it on the skag but you just run this uh, this little axle thing right here through the back of your mower, right through here. You can just haul it around. And that's that's one thing I like about it because you don't have to get on and off. And you don't have to carry a pump spray or nothing like that. But I am going to look into getting to uh, getting some fertilizer or some at least uh, stuff that kills the dandelions out of your yard. Because our, we got a pretty yard, but half is thick, but half is not. So the half towards the driveway stripe is really good. I'll have to show you. But like I was that. saying... The yard, our yard, we got about half thick yard and then half not. So we're gonna try to get it all thick this year. See how see how it goes since we have this big new sprayer. Uh, probably just ride around with it on the Kubota, spray the yard and go back and forth. Uh, go over it probably about twice. But when I get into that, I'll let you all know. I'm not really looked into anything, any kind of fertilizing spray or anything like that to get into. But uh, I do have an update for the trailer. But back to the sprayer, I do like it quite a bit. You just hook these, uh, let me get around here. You just hook these cables right here up to your battery so the pump can get power and build pressure. But like I said, uh, if you all have a lot of spraying to do like we do, we've got quite a bit. 
that my dad used to carry around a little three gallon uh pump sprayer which was it was heavier than lead so uh i got it for a father's day gift he loved it uh i'll show you the picture or two right here in the video and uh y'all can look at that but i have nothing bad to say about this sprayer good investment i mean they are expensive but good investment for your company if you do have a lot of spraying to do it saves time it's a lot easier on your uh on you especially on your body from carrying around a big three gallon sprayer it ain't light nothing light so uh, yeah but update on the trailer we've switched from the 90r we've uh put the brackets back on the 90 91 so we're going to, have to adjust the bracket a little bit because it's uh i looked back the other day going down the road with the trailer and it was just dangling from this bottom piece down here so uh, <laughs> yeah we're going to, have to do a little adjusting on it because the top is too far uh too far back so we need to adjust it so uh Let's get to that real quick. So what I was talking about is this top bracket right here. This top bracket is too far this way. So it's well, it's too far that way. Which way is it too far? I'm going to have to go out here in the trailer and try it out. <laughs> okay, guys. Just went to the trailer and tried it out. So we need to scoot it up. Yeah, it's too far back. Okay, so let me get the impact real quick. Don't got the bracket on there because I just put it on today. Just switched it out. Because uh, at the farmer's market, at the farmer's market, we have this big area. We only mow it like every other time or uh, we mow the farmer's market every week. So like every three weeks, we'll mow that side. That's all they wanted. And it gets really thick. So I was like, well, let's just get the 91 out. It'll knock it down and so on and so forth. So back to adjusting the bracket. You just got these two little nuts on. I would say equipment defender is probably the best racks. You got lifetime warranty and all that. So, we're just going to do these two screws, loosen them up a little bit, and then uh, we're going to scoot it down quite a bit. Right there, looks good. Tighten her back up. Well, let's put the impact on forward. We'll tighten it up a little bit right there. Both of them tighten up. And we'll go to the trailer and try it. Alright guys, so we got it basically spot on the first try. So uh now we just gotta hang it up here. I didn't put it back over there because we got the sprayer on top of the cabota. <laughs> we need more room. We're about to build a garage. So yeah, I'm gonna pull the skag in and we're gonna call it a night. All right, guys, so we got everything in the building for the night. We're going to lock it up. We're going to go in and get some good good night of rest and uh, hit it wide open about 7 o'clock in the morning. So uh, if you didn't enjoy today's video, go down there and drop a like. Uh, drop a comment of uh, if you all have a lot of weeds to spray, let me know down there in the comments. And uh, if you do like the content that I upload, go subscribe. See you on the next video.